Hi, my name is Shimon Shoken, and in the next 10 minutes I'm going to tell you about a new approach for teaching applied computer science, an approach that I developed together with my colleague Noam Nissan from the Hebrew University and from Google Research. Computer science programs are not designed around themes, they are designed around topics. Topics such as um, hardware, architecture, data structures, uh, algorithms, programming languages, compilers, operating systems, software engineering, and more. Now, every one of these topics is covered by at least one course, which is normally accompanied by a hefty thousand-page, two-pounder textbook. And one problem with this topic-oriented approach is that students simply lose the forest for the trees. They become experts in some niche areas in computer science, but they have no idea how hardware and software work together, how classical algorithms are uh, implemented and come to play in uh, practical operating system routines, how virtual machines can be optimized to achieve uh, better performance and so on and so forth. They miss uh, the beauty of the big picture and they fail to appreciate the numerous uh, and the very rich interfaces and contracts that hum in the background and create the very fabric that holds the field together. Now, wouldn't it be nice if there were some course that puts together all these topics in, in one setting? Well, the good news is that we have built one such course, a synthesis that brings together in a hands-on fashion all these topics as well as many other key aspects of applied computer science. We've been teaching and finessing uh, this course and the many projects and software tools that support it for more than four years. And then we sat down and turned it into a book which was published by uh, MIT Press and the book was recently uh, uh, translated to uh, Chinese. Now, uh, in addition to this book, we have packed all the course materials, including lectures, projects, software tools, and tutorials into a freebie open source website whose address is uh, shown on the screen here. And all our software tools, by the way, are uh, both Unix and Windows compatible. The result is a very rich uh, and modular set of materials that any computer science instructor can easily turn into uh, a full semester or a two semester course. In fact, the materials are in such state that many students and practitioners take the course as is off the web on a self-study basis. So how do we do it? Well, here's a secret. We walk the students through uh, the process of building a complete computer system, hardware and software, from the ground up. We tell them that God gave us uh, the NAND operator, and everything else, at least in applied computer science, was done by humans. And then, starting with nothing more than NAND gates, we gradually, and in the process of, of a one semester course, we gradually uh, build, in a bottom-up approach, a complete general-purpose uh, computer system. Uh, the computer has the touch and feel of, uh, of a typical or a simple, actually, uh, PDA, and it lends itself very nicely to interactive applications like computer games and Tetris and so on. We travel this uh, tour de force from NAND to Tetris in 12 weekly lectures and projects, which were meticulously planned optimized and tested over a period of more than four years. The first set of projects focus on building the computer's hardware platform. The tools that we use are a hardware simulator that can be downloaded freely from our website and a simple hardware description language or HDL that can be learned in one hour. The result is a computer system which we call uh, HEC. Then in the next seven projects we build on top of the HEC platform a modern software hierarchy consisting of an assembler, a virtual machine, and a compiler for a simple object-based language which we call Jack. We also build a mini operating system which is written in Jack just like Unix is written in C. All the software pr uh, projects which are essentially a set of translators can be done in any programming language using the detailed APIs and uh, test scripts and test programs supplied in our website. The resulting computer is surprisingly powerful. 
It is a simulated computer hosted on the student's PC and making use of the PC's standard keyboard and screen, and the students have complete control over it, uh, over every hardware and software aspect of this computer, because they simply built it themselves from scratch. So we end the course with a final class meeting in which students demonstrate the cool programs that they wrote on their, on their computers, the computers that they built. Typical examples include Snake, Space Invaders, Tetris, and many other interactive games. Seeing such games sing and dance uh, on a computer that you built from nothing more than NAND gates, uh, this is a very uh, thrilling and rewarding experience. In fact, in one university, the course is actually called From NAND to Tetris though in other places it goes by more respectable names like digital system construction, elements of computing systems, and when I taught this course at Harvard, they simply called it CS101. You may be surprised. This sounds like an advanced course. How come they labeled it 101? Well, if you look at the official uh, course description uh, and read the, the very end of, of the text here, it says, all the necessary computer science knowledge necessary for the course is covered in the course. The only prerequisite is some programming experience. And indeed, all the theoretical and practical material necessary for taking the course and for building the computer is available in the textbook and the website. And it turns out that this set of knowledge units, if you will, includes some of the most important and elegant ideas and techniques in applied computer science. Therefore, universities that teach this course normally open it uh, for both undergraduate and graduate students, the only prerequisite being programming. And the course population typically consists of uh, CS majors as well as non-majors from other scientific and engineering backgrounds who wish to learn applied computer science in no more than uh, three or four courses. So they, they take intro to programming, they take this course, they may take algorithms, and maybe one more elective, and this gives them a very uh, tight uh, uh, coverage of computer science. So to wrap up, I'd like to summarize uh, our approach. Uh, one of my colleagues once said that um, computer science is a thousand layers of abstraction, which I think is a very perceptive uh, observation. And indeed, when you write uh, an application, you use a high-level abstraction, such as a high-level language, and then you translate uh, uh, your program into yet another abstraction, a VM code, and then the VM code is translated into yet another uh, low-level uh, abstraction, which is a machine language, and, uh, and then the machine language has to be realized on yet another abstraction, which is a hardware platform, and the hardware platform in turn is built from a certain chipset, which is implemented using uh, logic gates, and the buck uh, stops here at, at the NAND or the NOR level because here it, it's, no, it's no longer computer science, it becomes electrical engineering and, and quantum mechanics and, and so on. Uh, in the course we actually do this to the force in the other way around. We start at the bottom, we build uh, uh, the chipset uh, in the first three weeks of the, of the course, then we build the computer architecture, uh, the assembler, a VM implementation, a compiler, and finally an operating system in a bunch of applications. So this is quite a joyride, and I bet that some of you are wondering how, say, students can build a compiler in, uh, in two or three weeks. Well, the proof is in the pudding. There are numerous happy campers. Uh, in fact, more than a thousand students have taken this course already in several different universities, and many of them uh, keep on writing us about the significant impact that it had on their education. So. If you want to learn more about this course or simply take it, you're welcome to go to, the, uh, to our website. And if you want to uh, um, ask a question or comment something about the course, please drop us a line. Thank you very much.